Hotelier de Champs, I hope you're all doing well. Now so far this iPhone XR has got me thinking, do I actually need the XS or XS Max? Sort of trying to justify keeping this instead of the more expensive phone, but I'll talk about the screen. I found something with the screen. I have done a screen comparison already. I'll leave a link in the description. Actually, I'll tag it on at the end of this video so you can see that. I have a deal for you guys. If you're stuck with Windows Home and you want to get Windows Pro, or you just want cheap office keys, gaming keys, or gift card vouchers, head on down to 09. Look in the description for the links and a discount code to get even more of a discount. But the screen is not my concern with this phone when I'm thinking which one should I keep. The display is awesome and putting it next to an iPhone 8 Plus, it's actually better than that. So if you're coming from the iPhone 6, iPhone 7, iPhone 8 Plus or normal models, this screen, you're going to love it. Trust me, it is a cracking display. It's better than all those, but maybe you're coming from an Android OLED display or, you know, maybe you've had the iPhone X and maybe you don't want to spend more money on the XS but you want to upgrade for some reason again, you want to know which one's better, right? Now, obviously the OLED is better. It's a better display. If you compare them side by side, you're going to see the shortcomings of the LCD display. But actually use it in a vacuum, it's a friggin' awesome display. But I did notice when I was messaging the rat, Dodgy Dave, I was messaging him and I was doing an emoji and I was just flicking through the emojis and I noticed it just didn't quite feel the same as the XS. Just didn't have that connected feeling and it just looked like it was ghosting, like it was lagging a little bit. It wasn't really lagging, it just looked like it was ghosting more than lagging. So I got them side by side and I checked them so you can look at the footage here and decide for yourself. But the iPhone X, XS, and XS Max all have 120 hertz touch sensitivity displays. They're not 120 hertz displays, just the touch sensitivity ramps up to 120 hertz when you use it. Now, I don't know if the XR has that. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look into it, but there's something that makes me feel like I'm just not as connected when I use it. And it only happens when obviously I start using the XS Max and then I go back to the XR. If you've never used an iPhone XS, you would never notice the difference. So I, I wouldn't worry about it at all, but the difference is there. And I know you guys use our uh, tech people. You want to know about nuances and I'll just show you here. You can see clearly the LCD goes small. So the pixel response is just not as fast as the OLED. Well, uh, duh, of course not. But it's just something I noticed. I mean, it's nothing like ghosting you see on some 15 inch laptops, you know, like the MacBook that ghosts a lot. And apparently people were saying with the MacBook Pro, the Intel integrated graphics and that the new 13 inch has better graphics and that it fixes that. No, the 13 inch still lags too. And you can see that even with XPS 15, any like wide color gamut, you know, displays that are made for color grading, content creation and stuff like that, they're not usually fast. So that's just normal. But on a phone, you're flicking things around all the time. You're not looking at a static screen or like a video. It doesn't really matter. But when you're flicking things around, you do sort of notice that. And I just sort of noticed that. It just feels a tad slower when I'm scrolling across. It might be just psychological. It may have the 120 hertz. I don't know. I'm going to find out. But maybe just because I can see that little bit of ghost and it just feels like it's not as fast and fluid. Maybe it's psychological. But the XR just doesn't feel as precise as the XS. So just something I've noticed, you can see here the slow motion, you can get a sense of what I'm saying. It just felt a tiny bit off. You know, I'm looking for this and I'm comparing side by side. If you've never used the iPhone XS, you will never know, as I said. And there may be other shortcomings of the XR, but the screen isn't one. I, I'm just taking that off the table. I do like this screen. I love the color. The size is perfect. This size is the perfect size. It's better than the XS Max, better than the XS. This size, I just actually wish they actually made an XS this size, you know, with the dual camera and, you know, 3D touch, which are the two things that would probably stop me from using the XR as a daily. For me, it's perfect. The size is perfect. Like the display, I love the color. The color's awesome. It just feels more fun. It's a nice size. I really do dig it. But those two little things, I'm not 100% sure yet whether I could live without those two things. But the display, no problems. I do like the display, but I just thought I'd show you this. So I'm just going to tag on the video, comparing the displays, viewing angles and that. Check that out. If you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, tally ho.